Hello, YTPC. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. And today, we have the first full-on edition of YouTube Piper's Care for the new year. A little housekeeping in a good size Pipe by Lee uh, three-star apple saddle stem. I am smoking some of Mylan's Diplomat. Good stuff. Let's dive in because this week, kicking off the new year, we have quite a few guys that uh, could use our support. Progress Piper down in Australia is kicking off a new job this week. <clears throat> Said he'd been doing the same thing for well over a decade and it was time for a change. Let's uh, encourage him in pursuing this new opportunity. Piper Ken said his brother-in-law surgery went well, but he's still gonna be out of work for about a month. Codger Jim, from what I understand last week, his house was hit by the virus. Preacher Man Piper. Preacher Man Piper left us a video that said he was experiencing some, some deep pain. He didn't go into any detail. Let's keep him in our prayers and drop by and drop him a word of encouragement. He is a sweet, sweet man. Polish Piper gave us some exciting if stressful news, his daughter was born 10 weeks early. She and mother are both doing well. But that is early. Um, I have a grandson who's a year and a half old now who was born very, very early like that. And it's stressful. But I tell you what, the, uh, the NICU uh, doctors and nurses are absolutely amazing these days. And... Uh, and his, his uh, daughter, his daughter is doing quite well. Couple of guys, Smarty Bob. Smarty Bob had to put down his dog that you've seen in his videos, his companion of 12 years. Those of us who are animal lovers know how hard that can be. And Philip Rivara, didn't say whether he had to put his cat down, but I, he lost his companion cat. Said she was like his shadow. Those can be, uh, sometimes those are harder than losing people because our dogs and our cats are so unconditionally forgiving. It's tough. Carmudgeon Piper said the Divine Miss Lee took a tumble and suffering from what they think might be tra traumatic sciatica. I had to look that one up. It does sound painful. Hopefully it does not become chronic. St. David's Pipes was under the weather a little bit earlier this week. Hopefully he's uh, feeling better again as the weekend wraps up. And finally, we have two gents, Mark Lawson, who is job hunting, and Stephen Roberts, some of you know as a couple of different channel names that he's gone under, most recently Caffeinated Piper. But he is injured and out of work. now. Mr. Roberts is selling some pipes. If you can go to his channel, all of these channels will be linked down below. If you have any interest in acquiring some pipes and helping out a fellow YTPC -er, um, drop by his last video and see if, in, if there's anything available there that you're interested in.
Well, folks, like I said, all of these guys' channel links will be down below. Drop by, give them a little encouragement. Scribble them down, keep them in your prayer list this week as we kick off this new year, encouraging and lifting each other up. With that, light something you'd like. I'm going to have to get this relit. Enjoy your afternoon.